Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So it's one of those days, you know, where it's like, what do I want to film? I don't know. I don't really want to do a tutorial. I don't really have anything to review. So I decided to just kind of film a favorites video for you today. Um, this is a film, a film, this is a film dedicated to, <laughs> this is a video that's dedicated specifically to my tried and trues. Um, these are my products that I love. I reach for time and time again. I repurchase. Um, and they're just things that work really well on my skin. Um, I do have dry skin, so if you're a dryer out there, you can try these products. You don't have to. I'm just, you know, saying these are my, these are my favorites. Um, so yeah, so before we jump into the video, before we get cracking on these products, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And yes, when I say our, I do mean me and my sister. Now, she might not be in a lot of videos, but we are going to be filming very soon. So don't you worry. Anyway, so subscribe to our channel. Um, you can also find us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok Beauty. Um, did I miss anything else? And now we can jump into the video. So for the first is the base. The base of all great makeup is the primer. <laughs> and I have a drugstore and I have a very, very high-end product. So I'm going to start with the high-end. And this is the Girl On. This is the Meteorite Light Diffusing Perfecting Primer. So this I only use on rare occasions. This is like, I need an extreme flawless base because I'm going out I want to look great. I want my makeup to last. Um, this is what I use. And I don't, I don't know, it just smooths out every pore. It sets a base for my makeup to last. And I'm wearing that today because you are special to me. So I wanted to make sure that I wore this in a special moment. Um, but I love it. Now it is very pricey. So that's also why I don't use this very much because it's so pricey, pricey. But on the opposite end of the spectrum is another primer that I really like. It is the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. I use this daily basis. So I use this, you know, if I'm running out the door, I gotta put quick makeup on. This is what I use because it's very hydrating. It's very moisturizing. Um, it does set my base, my makeup, my foundation. Um, it lasts. So it's a pretty good one. It's not like the Girl On, but it's a really good one. I tend to look more for like a hydrating primer because I'm not really going anywhere special on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm going to the park, the grocery store, mom meetups. So I don't really need my makeup to like go for 12 hours, you know. So then I, I reach for this. So this is a good one. It's like six bucks. Okay, next is the foundation. So I have my tried and true, and that is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Okay guys, so I may not use this a lot on my channel because I do like to use other affordable products, but this, I mean this foundation, it doesn't cling to my dry patches, it doesn't settle into my lines, it creates a smooth, dewy, luminous look. I hate hate, hate, hate matte foundations. I can't use them. They just sit on top of my skin. And this one, I mean, this isn't a matte foundation, so I don't even know why I just said that. This is just like a really, really good nourishing, luminous, um, plumping, I mean, you name it, it is. It, it is what it is. Um, and it's, I'd say like a first layer is medium coverage, but you can completely build this to full coverage. Um, I do have some drugstore. I wanted to throw these in because I know that's very pricey. So the drugstore ones that I use for not the same but kind of similar are the Burt's Beats, the Goodness Glows, and the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth. They last a long time, especially this one. Now this I've seen like mis mixed reviews on, but this lasted me guys through like a sewage problem. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you can check out the video because, or is it over here? Here, I'll link it somewhere. Then this again, this one provides, like, I have no pores when I put this on. Like, even though it's a very dewy foundation, it is so smoothing. The concealer. 
The concealer that I use most of the time, my favorites, is the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. These are the Weightless Complete Coverage Concealers. I went, I used these for so long a while back. Then I stopped and then I got back into it again a couple weeks ago, months ago, whatever, time just flies. Um, and I'm like, why did I ever leave you? Because these are so good. They are so hydrating, they're not drying. Um, I do use the shape tape and I like it, it's full coverage. It just tends to get a little drying under my eyes. These don't, these don't fall into my fine lines. It lasts, it mixes well with other foundations. It doesn't clump up, yada yada. I mean, these are really, really good concealers. I really like them, I really like them. I really like everything here. That's why we're doing the video. Next, we go to face setting powders. Okay, so the first one, Laura Mercier. You gotta give it to her. This is like the perfect translucent powder. It doesn't settle into your fine lines. It doesn't look cakey. It lasts all day. It sets your makeup. Um, it doesn't have flashback. I mean, can I go on and on and on and on about this? I mean, it is perfect. I put that under my under eyes today and these puppies are locked in. They're locked in. They're not going anywhere. Nope. The next one I have is the Becca Hydra Mist. I also did a video on this. Just like a little get ready with me. Um, and this one, although very weird, a very weird setting powder. I use this on the rest of my face to set it today. It's such a good hydrating, it's 50% water, so it's very hydrating. It's a very good setting powder. It sets everything in place without looking cakey and other products on top of it, they go on so smooth. Okay, next is brows. The brows, the brows, brows, brows. So, I'm gonna have to give it to Maybelline on their Total Temptation. My ride or die for years was the Anastasia Brow Definer. So I still use it every now and then because I have it. I don't want it to go to waste. But the Total Temptation, it's like taking its place. It's only like six, seven bucks at the um, drugstore. It's just really good. I mean, it's really pigmented. Oh my god, what kind of what kind of swatch is this? This looks like my two-year-old daughter did. Very pigmented. It is a little waxy, but that's okay. I mean, I don't mind. Um, the spoolie's small, but I like it because it gets where I need it to go. I don't know. I mean, like, it's it's just a good... They last. Um, you know, I don't have to do any touch-ups. I don't have to put any brow gel on top of them. It's just a really good product. I really like it. I really like it. I really like it again. I mean, I really like it. Okay, so we're going to move into contour. My favorite contouring palette is the Morphe 9C. So, guys, Morphe has such great products. They really do, and they're so affordable. So anyway, this is their um, contour kit, and you can see they have highlighting and they have contour colors. This is so versatile. I use it, and I'd say I'm like light to medium skin, um, but my sister uses it, and she is like... I can't explain it. She's like see-through and she can use this. Um, so it's so versatile on a lot of different skin tones. The formula is so creamy and the colors are so pigmented. And this highlight, this highlight in the middle, it is, you know, I saw it and I was like, oh, that's going to be way too golden. For me, I would think it's fine. But when my sister was trying it out, I was like, that's not going to look good on her. It's going to provide like a gray cast. But it didn't. Like it went on. Let me see. It went on her and it was like beautiful. And it was like a perfect color. But then I put it on and it was like a perfect color. And I don't know, it, it's just a really good palette. Um, I recommend it. I definitely would go f for this because like, um, it, just because guys, just because. So we have bronzers next. So I have two bronzers, two. Um, first is the Park Avenue Princess. This is by Tarte. This is part of their Amazonian clay collection. Um, so I really like this because it doesn't cast any like yellow or orange tones. It's very neutral, golden. The powder is perfect. Like it goes on so smooth, it goes on patchy. No, it does not go on patchy. It does not go on patchy. It lasts all day too. Like this does not move. Like at the end of the day, I can still look in the mirror and I can say, that bronzer is still there. Same with this one. This is my favorite. Out of all the drugstores, out of all the high-end luxury, this one beats everything. Can you guess what it is? Can you, can you, can you, can you? <gasps> yeah, it's the Butter Bronzer 
by Physicians Formula. So this is the Deep Bronzer. As you know, they came out with a few shades, like two more shades, um, a few months ago. But guys, oh, can we just talk about this? The, the creaminess of it. Oh, look at that. And the smell. Just takes me back to my honeymoon in Hawaii. And, like, I just want to drink alcohol when I smell this. Like, it's so good. I actually do have this on my face today for my bronzer. It blends beautifully. Um, it has a little tiny bit of shimmer in it because it gives you that glow. Ugh, I mean, for a day where you're just doing a bronze look, ugh, this would do it. All right, so next is highlighters. So the first one I have is the Essence Pure Nude. So this is like $4.99. $4.99. Yeah. This, let me just show you. So I basically just take it and I just put it all over my face because it is such a <laughs> nude highlighter. And it is basically for that purpose that you can just put it all over your face and it adds that extra glow that you're looking for. Let me show you. It's not a very strong like you can see, it's got a nice glisten to it, um, but it's not like an extreme highlight. The next one is Stila. This is the Heaven's Hue Kitten. This one I love. I mean, and not just because like you can play with it <laughs> because it's putty, but because this is such a beautiful highlight. I mean, look at this. It's a wet highlight. Oh, yes. Now this is buildable. Like it can be very subtle, but you can like, boom, like this, you can see, I kind of built it up, it's on the tops of my cheekbones there. I don't know, I just, I love it. Like, <laughs> the color, the formula, everything about it, I just, I love. Blushes, so I have the, again, another great product by Morphe, is the Morphe 9C. <laughs> This has nine, nine, nine blushes, 9B. This has a perfect mix of like every kind of blush that you possibly could want. This, like look at these colors, look at that. And they're so pigmented, look at that. Let's check this one out, like look at that. So pigmented, they go on so smooth, they don't patch up, they last a really long time. Um, again, this is like a mixture of some shimmers and mattes and whatnot. Like, this is just a good prep to have. It's affordable. I love it. And then I also have the Tarte Party, and I've used this a few times on my channel. So this very rosy color, I do have that on my cheeks today. It's just a rosy color. It's not like, you know, in your face. It just adds a really nice rosy color to your cheeks. Makes you look alive. Yeah, because half the time I feel dead. I really do, like, <laughs> I feel dead. What's next? How about eyes? eyes. You guys are probably going to shoot me, but uh, again, I I have a bunch of palettes. Drugstore, I also have, like, the Urban Decay Naked palettes. Um, I have Carly Bible, their BH, but I don't know. I tend to just go where I know the formula is perfect, where I know it's going to blend well. Do you guys see where this is going? Yes. Yeah. Morphe. Specifically the Jaclyn Hill palette, but other Morphe, like their gold palette, their, um, I think it's like the bronzed mocha palette, like those, I go to all the time. Um, those are just, gr it, they're just good formulas. As you can see, this palette, I mean, look at this beautiful palette. Look at the colors. You can do warms, you can do cool tones, natural glam. I mean, every single color is in this palette. And you can see, look at this. I mean, like, look at the pigment. Look at the pigmentation on that. And that's a shimmer. Now, they're mattes as well. Look at that. Creamy as F. They blend out so beautifully on the eye. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. I'm wearing both shimmers and mattes, and it's just such a good formula. 
and like I said, like it's it's just an all around good foundation. There's no fallout. Well, there might be a little bit of fallout. There might be a little bit of kickback, but that's to be expected. It's eyeshadow. It's powder. You can't really stop that from happening. Guys, next is mascara. I only have one mascara. And it's a very affordable one. It is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This is such a good product. It voluminizes. It lifts. It separates. It doesn't break off and crack and flake. It doesn't smudge. It's just a really good formula. The drugstore is killing it with mascara recently. I definitely go back to every purchase. I could purchase a lot. Um, so this I just really, really like. I think it's a very good mascara. Okay, so for lips, I'm not really like a liquid lip person. I like them. I do wear them. However, I'm more of a lip gloss person because I am like, I'm a mom and I'm very active. And for all you moms out there that wear liquid lipsticks, I commend you because I just can't, like, I just feel like I'm too dolled up if I wear li liquid lipsticks. That's just me. But if you can, props to you. My favorites are the Fenty Glow. Mm -hmm. I mean, guys, this one is beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh-huh. Well, this fits on here. I had this on earlier today, but it came off. Because, guys, let's face it. I can't. I'm talking to you while putting it on. It's a gloss. It doesn't last that long. It really doesn't. Um, but I really love the look of it. I can just keep reapplying it. I don't care. And the last one is the Benefit Punch Pop. Okay, guys. So this one's on my channel like, basically by accident. So... We were in Ulta. I did do a video that includes this. I forget which one. But I noticed that my daughter had something in her hands. And it was this lip gloss. And then I was like, okay, fine. I'll just buy it. Whatever. Like, I'll probably just end up throwing it out because it probably won't be good. And then I tried it. And I was like, holy freaking shit. Like, this is the best gloss ever. <laughs> it has the perfect amount of tint to it. And the perfect amount of shine and it's just like I don't know how she picked it up like she just picked it out and was like yeah mommy I think you're gonna like this so you might want to try this and I love it like I keep this in like my diaper bag whatever out the door so the last product not the least is the setting spray <laughs> Ken, because I'm a new YouTube channel I have little subscribers but this is not Morphe sponsored or anything. I just love their brand. It's the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. This is great. I mean, like, not only, I, I like it for multiple reasons. So the first reason is like, it's continuous. Um, also, I like the way that it plumps up my skin. So like, I put this on and I instantly feel like I'm glowing, I have healthy skin, and then it just sets my makeup. It just sets it sets it like a mofo like it does not budge okay guys did i miss anything that like my favorites i don't know i think i covered everything guys all right guys that is the video i really hope you enjoyed it i really just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of what's out there what i like my favorites because i do use a lot of different makeup on the channel i will list everything in the description box below uh, again, subscribe if you like our videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye.